It was dated by the founder of Brownsville around the time of the Civil War, and it's still being used by the Jewish community in the Rio Grande Valley. Our Marlene Rodriguez takes us back to a hidden historical gem in Brownsville, the Hebrew Cemetery. The half-acre, beautifully landscaped Hebrew Cemetery, positioned right next to the old Brownsville Cemetery, is enclosed by a hundred-year-old triple brick wall, where only Jewish souls are buried, including veterans from the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. Now, if you notice the wall around the cemetery, that is a part of their belief that it has to be a finite piece of land blessed by the rabbi. Although dated in 1868 by Brownsville founder Charles Stillman, for Jewish settlers that came to Brownsville and Matamoros in the mid-1840s. The Hebrew Cemetery is still active and burials are still being done, including prominent figures like Hollywood directors from the Kowalski family and businessmen from the Edelstein family. What you see before you here are the names that are icons in retail and commercial development of Brownsville. And survivors of the darkest time in our history, the Holocaust. I would venture to say that everyone in this cemetery was affected by the Holocaust. You even had some members in here that went through the Holocaust and were in internment camps. The Hebrew Cemetery may look newer than the old Brownsville Cemetery, but in fact, they were built around the same time in the 19th century. It was founded in 1867. It is as old as the other side, but it's the tradition of the Jewish community that they honor their dearly departed. In Brownsville, Marlene Rodriguez, Local 23 News. In 1996, the Hebrew Cemetery was awarded with a Texas historical marker in 2010. The cemetery was listed in the National Register of Historic Places by the United States.